Chaplin's Corner by Dr. Ron Lester. A thumbnail, head and shoulders smiling photo of Dr. Lester is located at the beginning of this issue's Chaplin's Corner. The lapel of a plaid sport coat that appears as a gray color is visible above a colored dress shirt. There is no caption with the photo. Dr. Lester's column reads, Senior Strength. The other day I was interviewing a man who is paralyzed from the neck down. As a Coast Guard veteran, he took a run on the beach one day. The sand became very hot, so he jumped in the water, hit a rock, and broke his neck. Now, after some 40 years, he is still writing and posting encouraging thoughts to inspire others. Although unthinkable circumstances came his way, this man has not stopped. I once visited with a man who had lost his legs and arms. He has not stopped. Throughout my life, I have visited many veterans who are blind. They have not stopped. We had a cousin who was totally blind. He was determined to live to be 100 years old. This man kept going, through hard work and sheer determination, until he died the day after his hundredth birthday. Despite the difficult situations in his life, he did not stop until he reached his goal. As yet, I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, both for going out and for coming in. Joshua 14.11 in America, when people reach the 65 through 75 age bracket, their thinking seems to change. It's time to retire, apply for Social Security and Medicare, and transition to a different style of life. Sadly, with those changes comes a change in self-perception. My productive years are over, my strength is waning, my best years are behind me. As we see in the verse above, this is certainly not so of Caleb in the days of Moses and beyond. When he was 40, he and Joshua helped spy out the promised land, Numbers 13. Then came 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. By the time Canaan was divided among the tribes of Israel and Caleb received a portion of his inheritance, he was 85 years old, Joshua 14.10. And how did he view himself? As strong at age 85 as he was at 40. Joshua 14.11. He was ready, quote, for war, unquote, that is, ready for whatever he may be called on to do so. Retirement is not a biblical word. Change and transition, yes, but we must remain available to the Lord until the day of our harvest comes. Job 5.26. Corrie Ten Boom, through all of her unthinkable circumstances and struggles, wrote, Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Sometimes, in the midst of our great suffering and unthinkable circumstances, we feel isolated and alone. Perhaps it is in these places where we feel most alone that we can best hear God's still, small voice. He talks with us and fellowships with us. In His timing, He will provide the human companionship we need. Tune your ears to the still, small voice of his comforting word, which still speaks as in the days of Elijah. Pastor David Jeremiah has said, Only God can solve the problems of loneliness, created us in such a way that we have an emptiness that can only be filled by an intimate relationship with himself. It has been a very long road, and we are all tired, worn thin. But in Nehemiah 8.10 it says, The joy of the Lord is our strength. There is a warrior spirit and a holy spirit in us that keeps us going. We can go the distance and be transformed. Never, ever give up.